What's going on, guys? The Cruising Podcast. Welcome back. We're here for another episode. Today, we are going to talk um, some games. So, we want to talk first about our thoughts on the Halo Infinite um, reveal, gameplay demo at the Xbox Showcase. We want to talk real quick on that. And then we both beat, uh, over the past week, Ghost of Tsushima. So we re- want to talk about that and give our thoughts on that as well. So let's just get into it. Um, it was the first thing Xbox at the Xbox Showcase, first thing they showed. And quick little cinematic, right? Chief's armor being built and stuff like that uh, from what it looked like. And then there was a gameplay demo. That's what. That's the main thing that everybody was talking about, the gameplay demo, which was, what, <laughs> nine minutes? Well, or nine it, minutes it, was it, including not, the trailer. Yeah, that's including. So like a the five cuts, minute. It's four minutes of gameplay. Four minutes of gameplay, which is nothing. Yeah. Uh, so we had a gameplay demo. Uh and I gotta say, I, when the cinematic started, right? You know, the scene with the new character and chief and Still all annoying. that. I was like, okay, all right, let's see. They add a little humor, so I was like, okay, cool, whatever. This chief but looks. He, he was a little extra though. He yeah, was, he, it was a little like they were trying to add that humor, and then I don't know. I think that I don't think that cutscene works as a demo. No, and we found out why. It's because it takes place several hours into the game, so we have no idea who this character is. So, that maybe that's a joke that would work if it was built if it was built up like yeah. while you're playing the game, so, so the, you know it you know it's a it's a the cut scene right we're here I, I was I was I was intrigued you know Chief looked good I was like it's good to see him in it, yeah. and then when it you know when the camera kind of panned in and it was exposing like the open world. <laughs> Uh, element, you know, like Chief coming out. It's very like uh, combat evolved, like Halo intro. One all the way. You know, it's yeah, like, like the huge callback. And yeah, all huge callback to Halo One, combat evolved. And then when the camera comes through and it's like for like you know it's time for the player to play and the, and they show the Halo ring and all that. I was like, oh no! Right when it started, I was like, oh shit! The graphics looked, I it just looked so bland. You know what I mean? It looks last gen. Again, you know, it, this game has been five years in development, supposedly, right? I mean, we haven't got a Halo. Halo 5 was five years ago. And supposedly it's the most uh, and expensive budget. They've been teasing industry. us. New engine. They're taking their time. Yeah, like most expensive game probably ever made, right? So, And I, I remember on the last podcast before closing, and I was like, guys, the showcase is on Thursday. I'm so excited. And I said... I have a feeling we're going to be mind blown with what we see from Halo. So I was expecting something visually just like stunning. Because that, that slip space trailer that yeah. they show like 2018. Yeah, it, it was really it was cool. Or, like that was just showcasing the engine. I was like, oh shit, this looks good. Yeah, they have a whole new engine and everything. And know. when that gameplay started, I was like, oh no. I, it, it looked... I, I Once I saw the grass... Everything he was walking over it, like there was yeah, poppins, the poppins and the grass. The grass was going up and down when he was walking towards the enemies, and then like even the sky was popping in. Yeah. And, and when he paused the game to show the map, when he like goes back to the game, the game like yeah. was like popping in all over the place. And uh, the the poppins, you know, the graphics looked. It looks like it just it that doesn't look next gen. It you just you tease this whole you know. And also the the way the. Enemies look. It looks like they're wearing like the covenant and shit. Like they look like they're wearing Lego. It is it's yeah. very blocky. Like so, like the the Halo ring looks very blocky. Yeah. So like the, the, the main and the, like I guess criticisms I have are, I understand that they they want to appeal to the original fans and they're bringing back the grunts and the covenant and the brutes. I, right. Look, I, I, I Where like does this that. fit with the story? That's number one. Because number one for me is always story. You know. Yeah. I don't and know what the story is. That's number one. And then also. And story wise, I can't. I'm worried about the story, but I can't critique it because again, we we don't know anything about the story. story. This this showcase showed us nothing about the story, just a, except a, about a, the, a brute, the the banished, right? Which that brute looks yeah. awful. And then we'll get into that now. And then the second thing was, yeah, the graphics looked. I mean, this could easily. It, it looks. It, it looks like an Xbox One game. It just looks like an Xbox. Like if this game came out maybe a couple years ago, you know what yeah. I mean? Like if this. If they showed this like two years after Halo Five, I'd be like, "Oh, okay." And, uh, 
and the world building and, and the to be one open part world. that really got me was when they were supposed to be do like this close up shot of the brute yeah and I was like that was them showing off the graphics and yeah. the motion capture I was like dude oh my god yeah we'll, we'll get into that final scene now but just the world the gameplay I, I like the gameplay the, the gameplay I have no yeah, complaints it's Halo gameplay it's Halo smooth. which I like I did I did get a it looked a little boring just what the, what the, at I least think what they showed, I think what they showed. showed looked boring, right? There it was, was no. Boring. It was pretty. They like, should have showed us something from actual story because I don't think this is a demo at the end of the day. So there's nothing here that. Yeah, I don't know. And and, and when the be, second he came out of the of the ship, he just started firing. I was a little. It was very quiet. No, and also they said that this is a fourth a, a, a four month old build. This is from January, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah what he four, said. They said it was four months old. But this is where I kind of like conflicted on that. So why are you showing a build that old as your demo and hyping up that much? Yeah. Because the whole point of a gameplay demo, like if you when you go back and look at God of War E3 or uh, the Spider Man. Yeah. They usually demo. It always looks better. It, than it what actually, actually looks get. like better, and then when the game comes out, oh, it's been downgraded because. A demo, you can put everything into it because it's a yeah, short demo. Yeah, because you know, I never I showed you the God of War mm -hmm. uh, E3 demo. And you saw how like all like look how yeah. that looked. And I was like, man, this is what and and it's like it's not a big deal, but it kind of is a big deal in the sense of that it turned out that the Halo Infinite demo was running on a PC with similar specs yeah. to the Series X. Yeah, so that, that that's one. So so that was something that I like. It's it's like I I, I care, but I really don't care. But at the same time, it's like you're not showing me how it runs on the Xbox Series X. Yeah. Because you like, I want to buy the console, but that's what the sense I give credit to Sony a little bit because it was all like Ratchet and Clank, Gran Turismo, and those others like like the gameplay trailers that was all running on the PS5. You're seeing how it runs, how it looks. Yeah. And the fact that I was running on a PC, I was kind of like, oh. That's the thing. Mean. There's a lot of things here. You know, the graphics didn't look great. The character designs. Like, if you look at the... There's a lot of screenshots, a lot of memes already about the brute. That brute. The brute <laughs> oh, that the you... Craig, the, the, brute, Craig. The, the brute that you pummel in, in, the, th in, the, in the demo. No, what's bad is the, the, official, covenant. the official screenshot they released. Yeah, then X Microsoft released official screenshots. Of and the then brutes, and now it's even worse. The demo, just there wasn't... Uh, a wow factor in that and demo. And also, we did watch it again in 4K. Yeah, we saw, we saw we've we seen that demo so many times already. We've, I saw it again in 4K. Yeah. I didn't really see a big of a difference. No. I mean, the, yeah, looked... the game runs smooth, but I mean, yeah, yeah I'm sure you can play 60. Minecraft and it can run great if the graphics, how they are. Yeah, you know? that's the thing. People oh, it's 4K 60. I'm like, yeah, because look at the graphics. Yeah, like, the graphics, the world, I expected it to be more visually stunning. Because look at the, the the last trailer, the, the 2019, the Discover Hope. Yeah. Look how you know, like that looked completely yeah. different. Yeah, and and then right when the game started, like the like the demo, yeah. and I saw the cutscene, I was like, wow! Like I I noticed the downgrade, yeah, instantly. And again, the defense is like Halo has a certain artistic style. That's fine, I get that. But man, it looks when a you look at those screenshots of the brutes and the covenant and and the world. Now this is. They they pretty much revealed that this it's gonna have an open world segment. The game is Which gonna be I'm open not world, too... and we'll get into that now. But you know when you're playing playing an open world g game, you're supposed you want that wow factor. Of, you want the world to look beautiful. You want it to be visually yeah. stunning. And when he came out of that pelican, and they were showing it off. You know they were doing the pans, and, uh, and yeah. so we can see. And as they're doing the pans, you see poppins. poppins you see blocky. very blocky architecture. It doesn't look visually stunning. And the brutes don't. The brute, that close up of the brute's face. No, but like bland. even the armor that he was shooting, like the people that he was shooting at, like very Lego-y. It, 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 I, uh, something it reminded me of a Fortnite look. Yeah, and I did not like, and there was no blood too. Mm -hmm. I noticed there was no blood because I, yeah. I, or I played that. Like, we've played yeah, all, all the, the except for Halo Wars. I never played Halo Wars. Yeah, which I guess we, it's. You should play Halo Wars 2 if you want to get this a little bit more. Yeah, because Halo Wars Banished 1 is, is like Halo. a prequel to like yeah, Halo. Yeah, those like, don't like, Halo Wars no. 2 is a sequel to 5 or yeah. whatever. But the... Like, it reminded me, like, there was no blood. It, they, like, their armor, like the official screenshot that they released. No. Like, if you zoom in on that brute. That's it, what it got looked, me. It looked like Mega Blocks. That's what it looks like. Mega Blocks. Yeah. It looks like Lego. Yeah. It, and, it, and it looks a little... You can tell. And suppose it's rated teen. Supposedly, like, like yeah. So there's a theory rating. going around that Microsoft wants to make it more appealing to kids, similar to like a Fortnite. 
And it kind of looks. Um, Fortnite really changed gaming in the sense of now you're we're having younger kids playing yeah. and really spending money and stuff like that. And Microsoft being how Microsoft is, very business first, story and all that last. <laughs> yeah. it, I would, I, I would honestly, I wouldn't doubt it if they were like, you know what, let's try to make it teen. Yeah, because because the Halo yeah. always had that gritty, even Halo Three and stuff it had that, that that gritty and Four had yeah. that gritty look. It we gritty. saw cutscenes from Halo Five and Man, that out. the cutscene here and Halo Five, five a lot better. matches up and not maybe even better. And again, to defense of this demo and all that, it's, it's a work old. in progress. Fine, but they didn't put that. In the screen, yeah, they should have put something that, yeah. I find but man, we've weird. seen work in progress games like look at Cyberpunk, yeah, and that was a year ago, like that was a year before, yeah, and then you that know? was an hour, an hour of straight gameplay. And, and one thing I give credit to, you know, like, like to Cyberpunk to CD Projekt Red, is that when every time they do an event for a game, like guys, this is a work in progress, early build, it, yeah. it's subject, you know, like it can change. But the thing is with Cyberpunk, um, yeah, but, but you see how you see like like the difference. It's like, oh like, yeah, the recent trailer. Oh wow, like never really. Mm-hmm. Wow, the graphics improved a lot. Yeah, but with Halo, I feel like the like it's been too, it's been too like like secret. Yeah, it's, they had- it's too like closed door. Don't show anything. And, and that's kind of worrying me a bit. And yeah, because, you know, the problem is we haven't seen anything. This is the first time we years. see any. This is the first time we see anything, right? The game comes out holiday. Years, four months. I would assume December. Uh, it's a rumor November. Uh, if it's November, even worse. I have a feeling of November for Xbox. The thing is, uh, look, uh, if this, this demo was four months ago, fine. Okay? I'm sure the game could look better. It could look a lot better. We've so, we so. seen videos of breakdowns of how lighting plays a big factor yeah, right, and all the, that. So yeah, Digital okay. Foundry. They fix they fixed the lighting in the game and it could look better. And we have seen screenshots uh, and video of the trailer versus the demo and how the demo's a downgrade to the trailer. That's fine. But I, I didn't see a big like. But there, there's it's, a difference. It's a slight improvement. It, it removes the flatness of the look of the weapons and the different yeah. things. But my main concern is how this is supposed to. This is supposed to be the model for your next gen console. It, it is the flagship and, for Series and, X for the next generation. And the thing is, this game looks no different to Halo Five. And but the reason and this why, is supposed to. I mean, they're they've been talking about next gen. They're talking. They're teasing. How, this no, is, no, no. Their messaging is the most powerful engine, console. The most powerful yeah. console is Xbox they Series They built. X. They built this game from the ground up with their new engine, right? So they've been really, really yeah. hyping it up. Yeah. And that's the problem here. They hyped up this gameplay too reveal much. for a, a they've been hyping it up the halo we're gonna show halo one day everybody was saying we all expect it was gonna be open world and i was hopeful about that but then i was like Man, there, they gotta show if this I, I thought that was gonna be like a big reveal in-depth, like an in-depth everybody thing. thought oh they're gonna show 20 to 30 minutes right uh, 20 minutes would have been great you know like a cyberpunk but, like, where talk about it show like, the show gameplay show the story trailer and then talk about the game what are the what's new to the game? What are, what are your plans for the game? You can't just show us, hey, look, it's gonna be four open world. Four minutes of mediocre gameplay. Pop ins everywhere. Pop ins. The game doesn't look finished at all. It, the it, demo it doesn't, doesn't look finished. Even uh, 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 Digital Foundry, yeah. who is the, they're like people said they're they're like the, like like the wizards when yeah. it comes to that type of stuff. Even they were saying that that they think the game should be like pushed back. Delayed. It should be delayed. The fact that this game doesn't look... And, and also, look... here's another thing. The game is not releasing with ray tracing. It, it yeah. comes in a patch. Yeah. Later which, on, like yeah, post launch. We'll get into that now. Because then, you know, we we saw the demo. I was let down. Completely. No, big... Like, after that, I did not care for the rest of the Xbox. Yeah, so yeah. I, I watched it. And to be honest, there was the only gameplay they showed in that Xbox showcase was Halo. Yeah. Everything else was all, like, CGI trailers. And those are games... That are rumored they're not coming on to late 2021 or 2022. That even yeah. people are questioning Microsoft now because you know how they said the whole play like like Xbox One or whatever. Yeah. So and if you look at uh, I forgot which games it was. It was certain games where it, they only showed the Series X symbol and PC symbol. Yeah. It didn't show the Xbox One. So that means that those games are so far off that it might not be able to run on the Xbox yeah. One. Yeah. And that's another issue. There's there's a lot of things and the positives I would say. About this, well, it, and the I thing like is, the, I, I like the 
old school feel. It's hard to say the positives because the positives is based off what they're telling us, not what we've seen. That's the thing. That's wrong. That's yeah. that's what I'm worried about. I feel like three four three, their heart is in the right place, at least from what they've been saying. That's why I was so I excited because they've really I don't been know, talking. Is it Microsoft? Is it? They've been talking really well about the fans, and they want to give the fans what they want. They they understand their mistakes, right? But yeah. now they're doing. They show us this. The game doesn't look done. The game is a meme at this point now. Everybody's that's the thing. Everybody's making fun of the graphics, and look, I, I'm hoping, I'm being optimistic, and I hope that uh, by the time the game comes out, I'm sure there'll it's be polished. an improvement. Yeah, but but this is such a big game. That's the thing. If it was like a linear story where, yeah, you know, like, but I'm sure, I'm sure it'll look better by the time it comes out. But no, my yeah, worry I mean, is, hopefully, what we saw, it looks like it needs a lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of work. And then they're talking about. This live service type well, of thing they, they going on. Well, they say it's not live service, but it's basically live service. So they have a ten year. So it's a Halo 10 year Infinite plan. is the last standalone release. Yeah. So we're not gonna get a sequel. There's no Halo Infinite two or Halo seven. So yeah. so it's a ten year plan. They're gonna update the game with us. A new yeah. story expansion. Basically, it's like a Destiny two. Yeah. And I have a problem with that because now. Because it all goes to Game Pass. I know people love or really. I know Game Pass is a great deal, but I do have some, my like some problems with it. Because now Halo is becoming a live service, kind of like a Destiny Two. Even though they said it's not like a Destiny Two, but it kind of is. Yeah. And yeah. this, my my worry is how is it going to be with the microtransactions? Oh, I said it completely wrong, but <laughs> microtransactions. Yeah. yeah, because because how is that going to be? Because I know Five had the reg packs and this and that. Never now. Their mindset, okay, you're paying fifteen dollars for a game. You're not paying really full price for it. So now, so now they want to keep everyone on Game Pass. So what do you do? Let's make one Halo game, yeah. ten year plan, and just update it. Yeah. So are you just stuck on the Halo ring forever? Is that what's gonna be? Is the yeah. story quality gonna actually go down a little bit? Where it's kind of like, 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 a, like a Destiny two expansion, a little. Yeah, oh, so another guy comes, and you have to go beat this guy. Yeah, so that's what they've been saying. So they already announced how the ray tracing is not even going to be in that's the post game. launch. So post, that's going to be a patch after yes. the game launches. Now, yeah. my worry is, the game's is gonna are they going to just launch this game unfinished. incomplete just because? Oh, it's a ten year plan, guys. Yeah, so, so like an oh, anthem, they, like, like a or, CD, because CFDs had that same issue. It mm-hmm. had a bad launch, and it took a year, and, and it took a year for it to get to where. Now they say the game is great. I'm not going to wait a year for a game but to be good. You know, I'm not going to wait a year, and I don't like No Man's Sky. Like No Man's Sky is a perfect example. If you have to wait a year, launch. then just delay it a year. Yeah, we've waited five years already. Yeah. If you're telling me no, the but game they're is, not gonna delay it because they want they need it. Has it has to launch it. There's they have nothing else. And I've been watching videos. Uh, the one I sent you uh, was his thing. His name was Paris. I yeah, Paris. And he said it perfectly. Like he, because I was really rooting for Xbox this gen. I was really yeah, like, we Xbox. Were please give me a win here. And because because I, I Halo like was Xbox, all they like, have. I had like all the best gaming memories I had was on Xbox 360 and Halo 3. Yeah. So I was really rooting for Infinite and, and to sell me on a Series X. But even though like, even I though feel... they did say that uh even though they they made the game also for Xbox One yeah, but, which and, is and a huge problem. And, and, and I've been telling that for a long time if if Halo's being made on Xbox One that's going to ruin the game. Well, not ruin it but it's going to like it's not going to let it go full power full everything. Yeah. Cuz now you have to scale the game to an Xbox One which which that's what it looks like. And here. it's a piece of shit. Xbox One's a piece of shit console. And that's that's Compared what it looks like. X. That's what it looks like here. That's why the and game doesn't spend. look next gen and, and I think tell, it's because of that. And you can tell another thing is too Microsoft they're not communicating really well with the fans. They're, they're not. not communicating 343 they released this and then that was it. And then they have 343 coming out and saying, "Yeah, well, we have this 10-year plan where we're not gonna make any more Halo games, but it's kind of like that, a live. It's not. It's not like Destiny, but it's it kind of like is. a live stream, and we'll be updating it and doing patches. And that it's kinda like is. that kind of sounds like Destiny. Yeah, yeah and I have a feeling the, they're going for Microsoft again, being business first and Game store, Pass because of the Game Pass. They see the success of Fortnite. They see the success of all these different games where they want to have a game stay long term. So that people can play it constantly, like especially kids, right? Look at Fortnite, how long that's lasted. Well, I think that Microtransactions yeah. being pumped in and out. That's another thing I think this game is going to have. It's going to have a I'm lot wrong. of... I, I have a feeling, it, it, and that's my yeah. worry. Because I think someone asked them that question and they didn't want to answer it. Yeah. So, so that's my worry, because how bad is that going to be? Because now, now it's... 
Because here's my problem with Game Pass. So now, now they're making Halo for Game Pass now, which is a 10-year plan. Now you're stuck paying 15 bucks a month to play the game. So now it, like, it, it completely changes the yeah, whole quality. Yeah, it changes the mindset. And, and now another thing that people kind of worry about is Forza, because like, instead of making like Forza 8 or whatever Forza this is, which I get for racing games, it makes sense, but now Forza dropped the number. Now it's just called Forza. Yeah. So it's Forza are going to do something similar now. Yeah, because and even Fable, like Fable, they, they announced Fable, but Fable doesn't have like a like a number or a name. No, it's but just, there hasn't been a Fable in so yeah, long but, where they can but just the remake thing is, it. And as a CGI trailer, so how's the game going to be? Is is that like a long term yeah. thing? I'll give them that. The Fable announcement was cool, even though there wasn't. Yeah, much, but it's a CGI trailer. Though. Yeah, like, it was. I, I want to know like because because last time they announced Fable, it was this is really shitty co op, yeah, like weird thing that like they end up canceling that yeah. the studio didn't do the it. The thing so, is, I don't know. you know. I'm. I love Halo. I was so excited for this demo. Yeah. By the time it ended, I was like, so underwhelmed. I was, I was, I was expecting, I was man, all the hype and all n- new, you know, new engine. This is for the next gen. Even though we did have our worries already about it, they wanted to run for Xbox One as well as that. Right there, you have to downscale the game. It's just. Even though they said that it doesn't affect it, yeah. But now we see this demo, and we're like, "Oh my god, this I, looks like a Halo Five sequel that came out a year later." Like, there's no. We looked at Halo Five footage and cutscenes, and we looked, and there is not. There's no jump there, and I mean, we're you know, and I know Halo has a look, but man, if you're telling me it looks like Halo, like Halo Five looks more no, appealing. No, but the thing is, even the original Halo had a gritty look, and then here that this looks. It looks a little too. Know. It looks. And then when it that final kiddish. scene of the brute, the, brute. the banished, right? The guy, the main guy from the banished. That was so cringy. And it was up close in your face, and it was like supposed to be. And I, I wanted to be excited because it, it was trying to be like this epic, make you feel a certain cringy, way. Though. It was cringy. I was cringing. The graphics on the brute looked so blurry, and it just looks like a Xbox One game. This game looks like years old when it's the most expensive game ever new engine it's supposed to be for their this is their launch game for the new console i don't want to get an x new i don't want to get the xbox series x anymore yeah and then another I don't. thing is and i know people are praising game pass but at the same time with game pass i have problems with it because now it's it's i feel like it's changing the way of the way, the way they make their games yeah it's changing the their oh we for, can just release patches throughout the years and, and the reason why i have a problem with it, I, and I, I I love Halo. I'm like the biggest Halo fan. We love Halo, and I was ready to love this. Demo. I was gonna buy a Series X for Halo. Yeah, I was ready to love this reveal and just get ready to pre-order. I was gonna, get the enjoy, Xbox. I was gonna enjoy on the Game Pass Series X. Mm-hmm. Let's go Xbox. And when Let's I go. saw what I saw, I was like, and again, you know, I'm not gonna rule out rule it out completely. But from what I've been hearing. From what I've seen, and, from what and, I've seen, it just doesn't. And sound also, I my right. hype has gone down a lot for the game. And also, no, I do I'm not worried. like. I'm just. Worried, I do not no. like the open world. I'm kind of worried about it. In a sense of Halo's always had because a great story. I, they showed the worst mission to show for the uh, open and world. And they didn't even finish the mission. They didn't finish. They, it was just him coming out. He had to destroy three cannons. Which I, I, they, he I, only was, destroyed one, and then it went into. So they didn't even finish. And again, this is just a demo. To show what they want to show. Yeah, but is but that how the main missions are going to be? Oh, destroy three cannons here. Go across the map. And that's go always get those that's other always cannons. been my original worry because now is this going to sacrifice story? Right? Halo's always had a great story, even though five they messed up. Fine, but it's always had a great linear story. So now are you telling me are we are they going to set back that good cinematic storytelling to just say. To extend the game and be like, okay, go destroy three yeah, cannons. Because my worry is, is there going to be a lot of filler? Yeah, go and destroy also, the three and cannons. Also, like, go you, save this soldier. When you soldier. do an open world game like God of War or something, you get like a piece of gear you change on your character. Like God of War, you do a side mission, you get this new piece of gear for your chest, whatever, you change your chest piece. Yeah. Never, you don't customize Chief. Okay, there's upgrades for your grappling hook, which by the way, people are overhyping. The grappling hook is... Kinda yeah, they boring. added a grappling hook, which is fine because it helps you get from place to place. Yeah, but faster. it looks kind of boring. Like it looks so like. Doo, doo. Yeah, that's like, a, that's what I meant. Like the gameplay looked boring. Like you know what I would like? I mean, I would have liked more of like. Okay, you want to change it, but like you know, in Halo Five, you had that Spartan, that ground pound thing. 
It'll be kind of cooler. A flying grunt is coming at you. You pull yourself towards the fl- like the flying grunt, and then you ground pound. Yeah. As you're up in the air, like I don't like if you want to change it up a little bit. Yeah. Do something like that because the grabbing hook honestly doesn't really look that. That's what I meant. Like the gameplay looked kind of boring. Um. The graphics and I and I really hope ins. that shotgun is at the yeah. And I got I action. got worried with weapon design when they showed the three cannons and that was your first and look it's fine like every game has some sort of like simple filler mission like go destroy this yeah, but, but now it. you're telling me are you gonna stretch out this campaign like you because like, what I'm worried about is are they gonna be like this campaign is the longest we've ever done. It's 50 hours, right? Oh, great. That sounds great. Uh, but then, probably 20. No, but it's just an example. And then, you know, get people excited. But when you play the game, it's like a lot of It's filler, actually yeah. a very simple story, but it's just a lot of filler missions of, okay, go it's save it out. It's these three out. Marines on three different locations of the map. Go destroy three cannons that are opposite. And that's... So am I going to just be driving around the whole time instead of actually just doing a good linear yeah, story? Yeah, because I wanted a linear, like, okay, I'm found those long hallways. That's why I love... You yeah, know, like, like that's, that's what I like, because I, I, you know, I don't know. I'm not too sure on this open world Even stuff. Even though they, they did say that the demo, it takes place several hours into the game. Uh, maybe even halfway, supposedly. So, I don't think it's, ha- maybe, I don't think it's halfway, but I think it's after the first few hours of the game. Yeah, I don't know. Now, that's fine. I have a feeling that this, and again, we have to guess this, because they didn't explain it to us. But from what I've heard from different people, like, IGN and all these different uh, reporters on this that they've interviewed them, they're kind of saying it's kind of like they're comparing it to the Gears of War idea of that sandbox type of thing where. Yeah, I was empty though. No, obviously, but not exactly like Gears, but where you it it encourages you to yeah you can continue doing your linear story, but you could also go out and explore. And yeah, but what do you get for doing those side missions? That that that's so that's the thing I'm asking because like, do you get rewarded for doing those? extra like stuff well you can find terminals you can find uh easter eggs like this you know the skulls the terminals well, all i don't, that know, I don't know if they're having that Adam, that's the i'm thing. sure if they've you know that's halo right they always have so i would imagine maybe like a terminal skulls maybe you can find weapons yeah it's supposed to like upgrades for your grappling hook and all that yeah shit. i don't know about that i don't know how i feel about that but yeah I want the things like stuff. maybe there's little side missions right like you can go on a quick run with a random marine or a stranded marine you know that's fine as long as there's a linear story that i can follow as yeah, well because if, if i want like let's you say the, let's say the game comes out the side missions suck and you don't want to do any of them because like with gears 5 i we enjoy I, I didn't mind the open sandbox element you know we explored we got a weapon or we yeah. got this you would kill a, a, a boss or whatever and I, yeah, I but but, but you got stuff for it. you got things for it. like yeah like upgrade and or, the story was still linear yeah, Th- there wasn't. So that's what I'm worried about. Are we gonna? Is there gonna be a lot of go destroy but, the but three but cannons? This, but this is a little more bigger than gears, though. So that's that's the thing. Yeah, so, they want. So how much driving am I gonna be doing? And gears didn't have. They don't have a ten year plan with patches, and that's an. Is that gonna sacrifice? So is this gonna end this forerunner saga? Which supposedly they said yes, right? Yeah, that this know. is a sequel to five, but is that Cortana you don't have to play the, the other ones. Yeah, they say that she is supposed. Yeah, to. I didn't like that. How? Oh, you don't need to play any other Halo game. That if you've played the other ones, yes, it concludes that story, but you don't have to. So, so I, I think what they're doing is they are they're gonna explain it's, it. I hope so. And I would like that because five. I, every, ha- I have a feeling that's gonna be a mess. Like it's gonna be all over the place. Like because now or maybe it'll be a because now they're, now they're trying know. to finish the Forerunner Cortana. Now they're trying to add in Banished. Yeah, I don't know how I don't know how the Brutes came back again. Halo Wars two was after five so maybe and that's fine i don't have a problem with them bringing back these original enemies but i just hope the, it doesn't sacrifice just, I, the story i the hope brutes. they're not just doing a full reboot and yeah. that's the thing we've heard that it's a spiritual reboot after the criticisms of halo 5 they scrap they wrapped up and they scratched out everything that they had planned they redid the whole and script. they redid the script for the game Which now is that could mean many things that could mean maybe they just okay they didn't like the criticisms. They didn't. People didn't like playing as Locke. Okay, let's change that. Yeah, but but so did they just change up their whole story to appeal to fans? I don't want a Rise of Skywalker situation in this. You know yeah. where four. You know four. I thought four was great. I liked four. Five was really short. It was ass. Miss a, a completely misleading story. Terrible. That wasn't complete. Now I would have. I would like for them to continue that story because yes, Cortana was a villain now. 
the covenant i think was and the arbiter were on your side yeah, like, where's the arbiter where's like you know Halsey? so i was like okay i i'll i'll play six like make six a good ending right i hope they're not trying to do a rise of skywalker where they're like ah forget that and like panic mode. There's a... at the end of the day what i think microsoft needs to do because it, we're speculating too much right now. I'm watching that be like that big of a deal, right? Yeah, but no, but they I, I they're do. allowing us to speculate too much where we're thinking the yeah, worst already. Get the message out. They yeah. need to come out and be like, look, guys, okay, this build isn't done yet. Obviously, this is that. what we plan for the game. Let us show you this. We have a story yeah, trailer for you guys. COVID yeah, detailed, and we didn't but... even get a good story trailer, so I still don't know what this game is about. The de- yeah. the demo you showed me was not appealing at all. Yeah, I did. I don't want to buy your console. Why would I want to buy this game right now? And then you're talking about a 10-year plan and patches that you're going to release for the game to make it better. So you're telling me is now well, now I'm thinking expansions. now I'm thinking is this game even going to be done at launch? This is everything that we're thinking. And so look how many Gears Five that game was not done. On and launch. so that's my worry now. They have us open with all this, all this stuff, and when they could have just done a good gameplay reveal, talk about the game, give us a story trailer, and, I know, and help us understand more because this is such a big change to Halo. This is a huge, drastic. This is not the Halo that we know, and it came out of nowhere. You know. Again, this is what we think. Watch the game be more ready than it is, right? We don't know. But from uh, what we've I seen, know. What, I don't know, from what we've the seen. The way that demo looked. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. From what we've seen, it doesn't yeah, look good. And that ready. trailer didn't make a big of a difference. There wasn't a good trailer. There wasn't a story trailer. No, the there was 4K, nothing. Like, it didn't show a big no, no, it's not. A, it's not. A, and, you know. The world looks really right now, boring. Right now, Halo, if they. If this is it, like, if. If, if Halo. If Microsoft messes up Halo to this extent, oh, it's, I'm done with um, I, I'm officially. I, I can't defend them anymore. I'm officially. I, I really I'm officially done with Xbox. Um, that's the last straw for me. Gears Five was good. It was fine. It had a terrible launch. I thought they. Super che- I thought they cheaped out at the end of the Gears Five, but that's whatever. And lack of new content. And the. The and the comment, microtransactions and the comments, in that game. Yeah, was the terrible. microtransactions, the the lack of new content, and the multiplayer. They're charging that, me five dollars to play as That cool. pushed me away a little bit. And that's my word with Halo Infinite. Is how is it gonna be? And now micro like the yeah. right packs are not. So that if shit. they ruin Halo Infinite, which Halo is the last thing, the last thing that gives me hope for Xbox. If it wasn't for Halo or for Gears, I'd be the, I wouldn't have a reason to play Xbox. But honestly, I don't want to play Gears Six after so, Five was. So if this, I'm hoping I'm wrong. I hope that they come out and clear the air. But if they don't, and this game launches, and it's what we think it As is, is they, they canceled the beta. Yeah, and yeah, there, there's not even a beta for this game. There's so many things that, even uh, there's just a lot of things that don't seem right with this I, game. I'm reading a lot of red flags. Right yeah, now on the game, a lot of things are not seeming right with this game. And if it comes out and it's not good and it's disappointing, I'm officially no, done with game, Microsoft it, no, because there's no reason. Game, See, you know if. It is what it is. That's what it's, that's it's, what it's, we think of. You know, the it's Halo. Hard, it's hard to defend Xbox. It's we're hard. we were really excited for the Halo thing, you know. But again, hopefully in the coming months, we can see more. They can bring up our hopes a little bit. But as of right now, that's where we stand on it, and we're gonna have to just wait and see, you know. But um, the next event. Whatever yeah, that is. but let's. I, I re- now let's jump on to Sony. Uh, we finished playing. Ghost of Tsushima, 